I, that's what I'm predicting the release. I'm predicting it's like an April release. 20 seconds to go. 19. It's gonna be big. It's gonna be big. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's go. Peggy 16. The most famous voice in history, Peggy 16. Oh, it's gonna be Mog. So then Pure this could be Mikola. He wields love to shrive clean the hearts of men. There is nothing more terrifying. Yeah, this is what I want to see. What is this world? So this is the lens between? What is that tree? That's what I want to know more about. Is it the eld the tree coming into existence? In that forsaken place, blood must spill. Blood of your fellows. They are truly faithful. A lot of jars. They were never saints. They just happened to be on the losing side of a war. So they're doing the Mog ending? That looks kind of cool. Mother, wouldst thou truly lordship sanction in one so bereft of life? That was a red-haired character, right? I presume you, too, are keen to know... ...just what kind Mikola is doing here. Okay, they did definitely mention Mikola. Jeez, there's a lot of new enemies. That hippo boss looks interesting. Those stripped of the grace of gold shall all meet death. How sick. The grace of restless flame. Come now. Touch the withered arm and travel to the realm of shadow. I'm excited to fight I this. Far behind. Valheim? We will meet again. Wait, did they just say Valheim? And meeting again? Okay, oh, pfft. brain so confused. First of all, the audio is mixed so loud I can't even hear the characters speak. Who is that supposed to be? Oh my God, June 21st? Okay, we were all off on how long this was gonna take. Pause, pause. Um, There's a statue. This is a statue of Mesmer the Impaler. Okay, so we have a name for who this is with the red hair. All right, what else did we get? Um, Pre-order to get in-game bonus gesture, Ring of Mikola. Okay, so this gesture right here, the one uh, that which call it uh, Tarnish is doing, that one is the Ring of Mikola gesture. That's a cool looking statue, but who the heck is that? I have to say, the audio was so loud, I couldn't even hear any of the actual lines. <sighs> Can I, like, play that again, please? Yeah, the Mog ending. Yep, that's what it seems like. But then, the, if that's the case, then, like, if there isn't a universe where Mikola is alive. Like, we thought we were gonna go in ba back in time, but this seems to be going to when Mikola is probably dead. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll put captions, see if that kind of helps here at all. Yeah, Mesmer really does. They look a lot like M Melania. Pure and radiant, he wields love to shrive clean the hearts of men. So Mikola is pure and radiant. There that much we know. Terrifying.
So, makes you wonder the rot then. Is it death root? Or death rot around the earth tree? This is a lot of it around here. In that forsaken place, blood must spill. I wonder what character that is. Blood of your fellows. They are truly faithful. They were never saints. They just happened to be on the losing side of a war. This boss is awesome. That looks really dope. Mother, wouldst thou truly lordship sanction in one so bereft of light? So when they say mother, it makes you wonder, are they actually talking about America or someone else? I presume you too are keen to know. Just what kind Mikola is doing here. Those stripped of the grace of gold shall all meet death in the embrace of restless flame. Come now. Touch the withered arm. And travel to the realm of Okay, who's with it arm? I will not be far behind. And travel to the realm of shadow. I don't know why the video is extremely broken there. Mikola's withered arm. So that means then where we have to go to Mog to basically enter the DLC. That's probably where the DLC is going to enter. And then the realm of shadow. Alternate dimension, you know, where like the lands in between is different. Things are different there. Like, what it, what exactly are are we entering here? Um, and also like this character Mesmer, whatever he talks about being bereft of light and stuff. But then they're still talking about Gold's grace and being sent to like the Earth Tree, essentially. Mikola's dream. Touch the withered arm and travel to the realm of shadow. I will not be far behind. Completely broken here. I will not be far behind. May we meet again. Was it me that I heard the word Valheim? So, this is that Mikola dreaming? Makes you wonder. This like shiny figure. Because Mikola, yeah. Mikola was the one of light, you know? Uh, Mikola was also the one that, like, basically everyone in the um, Halig tree sort of was looking for that light for, and he was just described that way. Uh, the branches look interesting. Yeah, I mean, like, is, is it like death root? Is it, what, what, is, like, what has happened to the Ur tree in this realm of shadow? Um, does, is it possible that this is the root of the Ur tree and not exactly the Ur tree? Like... I, don't know. I thought I heard Valheim at some point, so I feel like I'm just kind of losing my mind. June 21st? Honestly, this is a very fair time to kind of get ready for Elden Ring. I I'm really happy with, like, how much time they're giving us to kind of, like, play Elden Ring again, be excited. It's, like, a summer release, so people are going to take some time off for this, you know? Like, people can start planning time off for, for Shadow of the Erd Tree. Yeah, time to do a second playthrough, time to play multiple times. It showed the tree in the different states throughout the trailer, including burning. Yeah. Um, I that means like if anyone kind of wants to speculate about what is going on here, it would be important to visit Mog's uh domain again and read stuff according like about Mog, to read stuff about um just like Mikola in general and the dreams, and then what this could be a reference to. But I'm actually very surprised. That means I'm thinking now Mikola is definitely the owner of Torrent. Or at least in this dream, Mikola is still with Torrent. 
Um, because like that's literally what you see. You see a character in that screen that they shared with us for the trailer. Um, it's just a, a, a character with long blonde hair that people speculate could be Merica, but it w her hair was just worn differently. Um, just saddled on Torrent um, and looking into this like area that doesn't really look a lot like Lands Between and had that weird tree in the backdrop. So it could actually just be like Mikola just, just hanging out here, you know? Um, maybe Mikola has already withered away and, and this is just kind of this dream world that he's a ca he's like caged into but look like look at this design of like mesmer like you got like snakes coming out of like the helmet or around the helmet there's like bat wings uh like thorns like this whole staff is like so interesting um definitely more snake appendages snakes with wings you know lots of scales lots of red the hair is red as well he is very millennia coded but what is so red hair is a manifestation of only one character, right? Who was the one character? I'm trying to remember their names. Who gave all of these like children red hair? Um, Radon. Radagon. Radagon. Yes, Radagon. Could this be a secret child that we don't know about? Like, could Mesmer? be like a rejected child or demigod it makes me wonder right because we've seen melania you know she has the red hair um radon has the red hair and you know Mikila takes after his mother here um looks very malnourished yeah like very tall character very slender limbs you can see the bones everywhere very curious and Renala's kids have red hair. So then this is one of Renala's children. Betrayal, cast out. Like, think about, like, Loki and deception and things like that. If we just, like, had to look at Norse mythology, snakes kind of make sense. So in this collector's edition, you have an art book. You have a case. You have the statue and the voucher code and official soundtrack. So no physical copy of the game, by the way. You're just getting a code. It seems. What's the voucher code asterisk for? Does not represent, includes digital code for the shadow of Erdtree only. Does not include a physical disc. That's what it says here in the small little thing. What if, what if, um, yeah, it's DLC, but maybe some people thought they can get the packaged game. Um, what if, like, he is one of the rejected ch children and Mikola trapped him or something like that? Could it be possible the Shadow Realm or whatever this realm is um, is only, like, a tr like an imprisonment for a character? Like, and that's why everything here is kind of different? Yeah, it's definitely sweet. Uh, this, is, this looks already to be a big DLC. Like, just from, like, what we watched, it doesn't seem like it's going to be small. Dragon wings, yeah, or bats. I couldn't tell. They kind of look like bats, but dragon wings. Dragons make more sense because of, like, the familiarity with, like, snakes as well. Similar families. I am, I am satisfied with the boss design. I'm sure there's still things we haven't seen, though. Like, they probably teased some special stuff, but they haven't probably teased the big ones. Probably a fraction of what Elden Ring actually was. But it, I don't know if it's going to be a big area. But now now we at least know that it's very likely that you have to go to a Mog's temple to like actually interact with Mikola's Withered Arm. And that probably is your DLC access. Because that was always such a... If it, it will show. That was always such like a um, moment of like, wait, what's this egg? Who's this hand? Is there supposed to be more to this? And everyone had so many lingering questions about why that cradle was there, what it's supposed to be, is there supposed to be more to it, and will there be a way for us to interact with it? And it was always just a mystery question here.